Hold on. Where am I? What? What happened? Oh, wait a minute. Where's Daryl's truck? Where's Daryl's truck? I can't even see it. It must have gone off the cliff. Wow, that was a close shave. That did not feel good. No brakes. Heading off the edge of a cliff. I'm glad I bailed out in time. But that truck's Daryl's pride and joy. He is not going to be a happy man with me. I think I may have to go and break the bad news to him straight away. And now I am stuck in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> going to be a long walk back to town. There it is. You can see it just there. I'm going to have to stop at OKUs and see if Jim can help us recover that somehow. Even if at all, it might be impossible. Anyway, we'll head back into town. And we will break the bad news to Daryl. I'm not looking forward to this one. Well, it's been a good few hours um, since we came off the mountain. But um, we're back in town now. I'm going to stick my head into Jim's and see if he can help us out in some way retrieving it, but I'm not holding out much hope. Um, I have been asking him to look for a truck for me, actually, because I'm feeling guilty at always borrowing Daryl's, but I'm guessing either retrieving it or I guess I might have to uh, fund a new truck for Daryl, which I wasn't expecting to have to do, but there we are. Okay, Jim's headed up with a winch. He's going to see what he can do. He's uh, not making any promises. Um, he knows roughly where it is. He says it's pretty steep, so he might just have to make do with it. Well, today's the day of the mine sale. It's going to be happening in Town Hall there in just a few hours' time. Also, today's the day we're going to find out who the body was up by the mine. And depending on who it was, it could have a major impact on the sale of the mine as well. So um, today is a bit of a day of reckoning. I think we'll get a lot of answers to a lot of our questions that we've had over the last few weeks. But to start with, I need to go and break the bad news to Daryl that I've uh, flung his pride and joy off a cliff. Right, here goes nothing. Hey, Daryl. Hey, FSG, what's going on? You look a bit the worse for wear. So, um, I've had a bit of an issue, Daryl. Um, your truck has uh, had a little bit of an incident. Okay. Oh. What do you mean, an incident? Well, you know, I took it up to the hills. I was just going to spend a bit of time relaxing, thinking about um, everything that's going on, trying to make some decisions for the future. Um, jump back in the truck to head back down and uh, there was no brakes, the brakes had failed completely um, I had to bail out of it or I would have gone off the cliff So the truck's gone off a cliff? My truck? Yeah um, Yeah Kind of launched your truck off a cliff Truck's my pride and joy FSG, or was I swear to god Jeb is getting his comeuppance. What's that supposed to mean? Doesn't matter, FSG. Listen, leave me alone. I'll speak to you later. Well, that didn't go too well. Um, I'll let him uh, calm down a bit. Uh, but it does look like I'll probably have to fund uh, a new vehicle for him, which is only fair and right. Um, so with that in mind, we should probably go and do some work, maybe see what's on in the contracting department, and... Uh, Try and uh, keep our head down until the uh, till the mine sale later. Right, let's have a little look at the contracts. Um, not much on at the moment, um, but field two here, ploughing. Now a reduction of two thousand for uh, borrowing the equipment, but that is a nice little earner. I think we'll uh, definitely take that. So we'll borrow the items there. Lease machines will be waiting at the field. I'm going to head home, grab the bike. We'll head over and do that contract. Well, so far today, all I felt like I've done is walked, but we are back here at the yard now. 
We'll grab the bike. We'll go and do that uh, little contract, which should bring us a lot closer to lunchtime and the start of the sale of the mine. So, who's that? Well, that is a flashy car, if ever I've seen one. Who is this person? What do they want with me? Uh, hello there? How can I help you? Hello. Yes. Um, I'm a local businessman. I have been working away for a while, but now I'm back and I would like to purchase the mine. I think it's a good business opportunity. But I'm looking for somebody local to invest with me and potentially buy into it. Now, the reason why I'm here I used to be a business partner of your good uncle Ambrose. Oh, okay. Um, well, I assume you don't know anything about what's been going on recently with the mine, so, um, yes, I think that probably I'd be interested in that. I have obviously some funds um, to add to the mix too, so maybe we could split it 50-50 and uh, take it from there. Oh, don't you worry, I have been keeping well abreast of what's been happening here over the last few months. Um, sounds like you've had a rough time. Oh, I'm glad you think that, because yes, if I'm being honest, I thought somebody was definitely out to get me. Well, I will see you at the mine sale this afternoon. Look forward to seeing you there. Okay, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you there. Wow. That's um, the most surreal thing I've ever uh, experienced in my life. But um, he seemed like a good guy. Um, hopefully he's going to bring some uh, common sense back to this place. And hopefully the mine too. So I've got to say, that feels like a step in the right direction. A business partner, somebody who Ambrose trusted, so I have no reason to not trust him. Right, this contract isn't going to get done by itself, so we'll head over and do that. We've got a lot to think about while we're heading up and down the field. Okay, here we are. I can see the tractor just there in the field again. Nice big John Deere to keep us amused, so we will dive in and get this done as quickly as possible. There we go, a crop here of withered soybeans. Somebody didn't get them off the field in time. That is unfortunate. Which makes me uh, worry slightly about our crops, although we're not going to see anything from them till the spring. But next harvest, we need to be on it to make sure that uh, nothing like this happens. But in the meantime, we will get this fired up, we will get organised, and we will get things going. I have, like I said, Lots to mull over while I'm doing this contract. Who is the body at the mine? Who cut the brakes on the truck? There's no way that wasn't sabotage for some sort. And were they trying to get me or were they trying to get Daryl? Because nobody was to know who was driving the truck, right? So much stuff. And who was that guy? I should have done a bit more digging, actually, to work out what was what with him. Um, but... He said he was uh, an old business partner of Ambrose's, so I trust everything that Ambrose did, so he must be a good guy. Anyway, um, lots to think about while we're working on this, so we will see you shortly.
Okay, there we go. Contract done. And with just enough time to spare to get organised, cleaned up, and over to Town Hall in time to observe what's going on at the auction. So we'll park up the plough here, shut everything down, and we will collect our contract money. There we go. Completed. 13,701. We're obviously going to lose 2,000 of that, so 11,613. That's not a bad little earn at all. Got to say, very happy with that. Right, back on the bike. Let's get sorted. And over to Town Hall. Okay, that's just us back arrived at the cabin. We're going to pop something a little bit smarter on. And then we are going to head into town. So, we'll see you in a minute. Oh, hello, April. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine, FSG. I was just phoning to see if you had heard from Sandy yet. No, I'm sorry. Nothing again. I did try her earlier on, but nothing. Um, I wonder where she's gone. Yeah, I fear the worst as well. I'm uh, trying to push my brother to let me know as soon as he has the post-mortem results to let me know, just so we can either put it to bed and know it's not Sandy or... Like you said, fear the worst. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I'm about to head to the auction, so uh, hopefully I'll see you there. But uh, if I don't, please give me a call and let me know as soon as you know. Of course, FSG. I'll do that. I'll see you later. Okay, so April's got that covered. That's good. Like I said, we've got to make sure that we get this uh, mine deal closed off before uh, we find out who this body is, just in case. Okay, let's jump on the bike and let's head into town. Right, here we are heading back into town. I did think I would just drop into Jim's and see if he's had any luck finding us a vehicle, whether or not it's for me or it's a replacement for Daryl's truck, we will find out. But uh, hopefully he's got something. He's usually pretty good at this stuff. And look at this old Chevy Apache. It's been modded and done up. It looks tremendous. And the price is pretty sensible too. Not crazy price, 24900 That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think we might treat ourselves to that. Even if it doesn't end up being ours. We can donate it to Daryl as a way of an apology for wrecking his other truck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna push the button on that one. And we are gonna buy it. And there it is. What a good looking truck that is. Very, very nice indeed. And you know what? For its first outing, let's take it to the town hall. Loving this gorgeous interior as well. Look at that. We've got ourselves a right good deal here. There is the uh, wealthy guy that came to our farm. His car's there, so he's clearly at the auction. We'll just get this parked and we'll head in. Okay, we're in here. It's really noisy. I'm going to stand at the back. I'm just going to observe as uh, things happen here. There are uh, a lot of people here. There's a lot of interest in this mine. Um, there's people taking phone bids as well. So there's a lot of interest from out of town as well. This is going to be quite a uh, interesting sale. It's already past 12. So I'm very concerned that the uh, post-mortem results will be in any second. Will you watch Jeb? He'll stop this. He will stop this auction if he can. If it any way benefits him, he will be stopping. In fact, I can't see him anywhere, actually. I haven't seen him for the last few days, actually. But uh, I'm sure he'll be lurking somewhere. Interestingly, I can't see uh, Ambrose's old business partner either. He doesn't seem to be here. Um, kind of hope he's going to turn up because he's doing the bidding. He's... Uh, He's the money man behind our partnership, really. Yeah, I've got uh, 
the half a mil to put into the mix, but that's not going to cover the cost of the mine. I think he's going to have to make up the rest, so um, hopefully he shows soon. Okay, the bidding started now, and it's going up quickly. And uh, our guy is not here. I think I've made another terrible mistake. Okay, the bidding's up over a million already. There's a couple of bids in the room, and there's a bidder on the phone. They're all fighting over it, but none of them is our guy. I can't put my hand up just in case he leaves me high and dry either, so I am. I'm fearing the worst here. Let's be phoning me now while this is going on. Let me see if I can answer it with all this noise in the background. FSG, it's me, Sandy. Sandy? Thank goodness. Honestly, people were beginning to think you were dead. Not dead, FSG. But I'm in trouble. I need your help. Okay, what do you need? Tell me where you are and I'll come and help you. I can't just now. I need to let things die down for a little while. But I'll be back in touch. Bighorn mine is sold to the anonymous buyer on the phone. Well, I guess that's it for me. So much for new business partner. He didn't show, look, even his fancy car's still parked out here, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, wait a minute, he's in the car. Yeah, FSG, I was waiting for you. Uh, what do you mean you were waiting for me? It, it's done. The, the auction's over. Where were you? The auction is over. Congratulations, business partner. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm confused. There was an anonymous bidder on the phone who won it. And who do you think that might have been? Too many people in this town know who I am. I had to keep my profile low for a little while, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Um, well... Do you want to tell me who you are so I can at least know who I'm working with? Of course, FSG, yes. The name's Buck. Buck Hughes. Hughes. As in Jeb Hughes. That's correct. I'm Jeb's brother. April. What's happening? I know who the body is. It's Jeb. Jeb's dead. Excellent. Everything seems to be going exactly to plan. <laughs>